Hey, my name is Emma McGann, and today we're talking about more tips around lyric writing. Lyrical ideas can be elusive, they don't always fall in your lap. So let's talk about some helpful things to bear in mind in your approach to putting fresh lyrics on the page. Be conversational. A part of what makes a song original lyrically is you putting in your point of view and your experiences in there as the writer. A part of that job is the delivery and the tone of the lyrics. So if you know exactly what you want to say but you're unsure of how to format those thoughts into words, sometimes it's best to just be casual and conversational. It can be more effective than you think. In the previous episode, we talked about the effectiveness of using rich imagery and metaphors, but you don't always have to embellish every line in your song with clever wordplay and devices like this. In fact, sometimes drilling down to the core of exactly what you're trying to say can be just as good, if not better. If it helps, imagine you're sat across from a friend. How do you tell that friend exactly what you're trying to say in layman's terms? So as a quick exercise, in your own words, try and rewrite these lines from a song of mine called Winter Storm with that conversational tone in mind. There's a lot of rich imagery in these two verses. So if it were written more casually in a more conversational tone, what could it sound like? Pause this video, try it out, and come back when you're done. So don't be afraid to keep it casual. It doesn't dumb down your lyrics at all. I'd argue that it's probably in some cases more impactful for the listener. They probably feel like you, the songwriter, are actually having a true human, real conversation with them through your lyrics. How you phrase your lyrical lines affects the rhythmic qualities and the flow of your whole song, as well as the emphasis of the message that you're trying to get across. So phrasing is something that you wanna think about in the very early stages of writing your lyrics. When we talk about phrasing in songwriting, we're either talking about the melodic phrasing, so how a melody moves and shifts through a section of a song, or we're talking about the lyrical phrasing, so how the words and the lines are arranged in a certain way to affect the listener's ear in a familiar and fluid way. Let's take a look at this verse section from Foo Fighters' Learn to Fly. The first lines of each section aren't complete sentences or phrases. The first phrase bleeds into the next line. If we imagine for a second there's punctuation here, this sentence would resolve here. There's also a comfortable amount of syllables in each line which complements both the melody and the delivery of the vocal too. This is why smooth phrasing can be crucial. A lyrical phrase with too many syllables per line can feel a bit unnatural and jarring as well. So depending on the tempo and the structure of your song, be mindful of how many syllables you fit per line and think of how this complements the rhythm of the vocal in the song as well. Maybe this is something that you've never tried before, but studying lyrics and making in-depth notes regularly around particular things like uh, lyrical phrasing can better your understanding of when it's used, how it's used and why it works. So if you're not used to diving into a song in an overly analytical way like this, try out this next exercise and see how you do. Once a day, pull up the lyrics of a song of your choosing. Take 10 to sit and make notes on the lyrical phrasing of each line. Note down the similarities, like how this might run in parallel and complement the melodies that are used, and how this aids the rhythm throughout the whole track. That pairing of finding a great rhyme and also conveying the exact message you're trying to get across can be a really challenging balance sometimes. So let's talk about perfect and imperfect rhymes. What defines a perfect rhyme is the vowel sounds used in a word. So for example, door and floor. The o uh vowel sound and the final consonant r at the end of each word is identical. And this is the substance of what makes those two words a perfect rhyme. But the pool of words that you can use if you rely too heavily on perfect rhymes, which you should not do, becomes uninspiring. In fact, it starts sounding a bit cliche because perfect rhymes are too overused. So as writers, what can we do to be more flexible here so we're not using perfect rhymes at every turn? You've probably heard of half rhymes, lazy rhymes, or imperfect rhymes. These share some of the same qualities as your perfect rhyme, but the main difference is the vowel sound is not identical. Close, but not. 
they can be a nice unexpected twist for the listener's ear if they're delivered in the right way. Here's an example of the lyrics from my song Hex. The rhyme scheme here is A-A-B-C-C-B. The chorus lines are made up of imperfect rhymes in that the final words of each line do not always share identical vowel sounds or end with the same consonants. For example, head and sweat share the same vowel sound of eh, but the ending consonant is not the same. Same for the words veins and again. The vowel sound is different. To match imperfect rhymes to the point where they sound smooth and fluid in a song comes down to the vocal delivery. Lightning in my veins, burning up again, I feel the effects. the word sweat, I deliberately do not emphasize or enunciate the letter T on the end to soften the tail end of that word so it sounds similar to head, so the vowel sound in those two words pop out a bit more. You hear the eh, uh, but not the T, not the sweat. <laughs> so with imperfect rhymes in mind, here's an exercise you can try next. Using the following rhyme scheme, write a verse that relies on imperfect rhymes only. The lyrical content can be about whatever you like but keep the lines imperfect. Maybe try testing out the delivery of those imperfect lines vocally too. Pause the video, try this exercise, and come back when you're done. So to sum up, number one, be conversational with your lyrics. Sometimes all it takes is for you to say exactly how it is to be the most impactful lyric in your song. Number two, phrasing is everything. Good lyrical phrasing really aids the rhythm and the flow of your lyrics and can play to the expectations of the listener's ear. And number three, rhyme imperfectly. Play around with the delivery of the vocal with imperfect rhymes to widen the vocabulary you can use. It'll offer your listener something unexpected in your next song.